Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my hands here I have an Xbox One S. These things are pretty good, they're inexpensive and they're good for disc-based games. However, these consoles come with one big flaw, hard drives. Unlike newer consoles like the Xbox Series S and the Series X, these older consoles come with hard drives. Hard drives are good for storing large amounts of storage for a cheap price. However, over time, they tend to break down. So many people's solutions are to either throw them out, or if you're like me, throw out just the hard drive and replace it with a new hard drive or an SSD, and maybe don't scuff up the bottom of the console. So if you're like me and you just replace the hard drive with either a new hard drive or an SSD, this video is going to help you guys to format the hard drive and to perform an offline system update to make the Xbox usable again. In order to perform the offline update, we must prepare a USB drive to plug into the Xbox. This page will help us. It can be found by looking up Xbox Offline Update, but I'll have a link to the page in the video's description. This page contains all the instructions we need. According to the website, we will need a USB drive with at least 6GB of storage available with an NTFS format. As you can see, I already have a USB drive plugged in. Let's format it. We're going to right click on it and we're going to click format. It will give us this. So our, you can name it whatever you want. I'm having, I'm naming it Xbox. And we're gonna change the file system to NTFS. And we'll click start. Once the format is complete, we'll go to the section of the website that says all Xbox consoles except the original Xbox One. Here it will give us instructions on how to install the update onto our USB drive. We're first going to download the update by clicking this link. Now I've already downloaded the update as you can see right here. So, we'll, so once we're finished, we will right click and click extract all. What we're going to do is we are going to type in the name of our drive. This is the E drive. And we'll click extract. Okay, so once the transfer is finished, we should see this file within our flash drive. Once we see the file in the flash drive, we can close this window and we can safely eject the drive. Okay, now back to the Xbox. So I have the Xbox hooked up to the TV and I have the flash drive with the update right here. Let's plug the flash drive in. And now to boot from the flash drive, we have to hold down the eject and the end controller pair button and then we press the Xbox button. So now that I've paired up my controller to the Xbox, we're going to navigate to Offline System Update, and we're going to click on this option, and it'll prepare our console. Now the console should restart several times throughout the update, but once it's finished, you should be taken to this screen right here. Once you get taken to this screen, you will know that the update is done, and it's safe to remove the drive. And now you can set up the console and reinstall all your games. Now, if you, si if you try to sign in, or if it prompts you to sign in, and it gives you an error code, don't worry. All you have to do is connect to the internet and try signing in again, and you should be okay. Well, I hope you guys found the video helpful. The process is long and tedious, but it is worth it in the end when you have a fresh, brand new SSD or hard drive installed in your Xbox. Now, one could bypass this process by buying one of those devices that transfers data directly from one hard drive to another, However, those things cost more money, and it doesn't work if the hard drive you're transferring data from doesn't work. Well, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!